Welcome, 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 guys. Welcome to the Family Crime Combat Vet. First off, I'd like to thank everybody who has supported the channel. You guys are awesome. It's been a quite a long time since I put out a video. Uh, but you know what? I wanted to do something. Definitely wanted to go back and revisit some things, guys, on the Chris Watts case. I mean, have you guys got that case that just constantly sticks with you and doesn't seem to ever go away? And again, guys, I'm not doing this for anything other than what it is. I still feel some type of way about this case. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't heard of the case, Chris Watts was the individual who murdered his pregnant wife, Shenanan and the two dollars Bella for us and uh Celeste. Shenan, I'm just giving you guys a little update. Shenan was um found at Anadarko um in a shallow grave and her uh Helen CC were found inside an oil well on on the same site. And if you guys know my channel, know that we have went from the body cam footage to the interrogation videos to the interviews uh, uh, Chris Watts and I was going to say Mistress MK we went over interrogation back and forth and I feel so I just I just have this you know this case, for some reason, I can't let it go. I can't let it go. So, Chris Watts now uh, is basically, I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and read the article, guys. A man who killed his pregnant wife and two of their daughters is being shunned in prison and has been placed in protective custody to stop him from being attacked. Chris Chris Watts marks is 36, and this was like this is this is two years ago, uh, but this just shows that you're not safe anywhere, especially when you do harm to to children. But this is at Dodge Correctional Facility um, in Wisconsin. A source who regularly speaks to Watts told People Magazine U.S. that he cannot go days without speaking to a soul as inmates and guards try to avoid him. The source said. No one wants anything to do with him. He's on the lowest social tier of the entire prison. He is in protective custody because he is around other inmates. He'll be in real danger. He's an outcast, even amongst cr criminals. Obviously, we know Watts uh, is a person who's a narcissist. And so he needs someone to talk. He, he needs that human interaction to make himself feel good. And what I'm surprised about is how come his parents didn't notice these traits prior? You know, if you hear his parents talk, he was such a good kid, and wasn't, you know, didn't get into any fights and stuff like that and just play, you know, those, those are the kids. I mean, I'm not gonna say those kids always grow up to become serial killers because that's what he is, but, you know, if you ever look at the criminal profiles, you go on and look at Netflix specials, and you see criminal profiles, um, the psychiatrist who, who states before, you know, who the, the murderer is, or even if we do know the murderer, that person is shy, distanced off to himself, usually easy, easily, uh, He's not a leader. He's a follower. Um, the same traits Chris Watts gives out. But what I have an issue with, and I said this in my last video, besides the women who are sending him half-naked photos and, you know, saying it is, it's a, you know, people make mistakes and, uh, you know, making excuses for him, but people don't make mistakes by annihilating their whole family. That's not a mistake. I, I mean, I don't know who can 
who would categorize that as a mistake? But uh, if you kind of listen and you look at the Netflix special, which is like, this is good. I mean, I like it. But a lot of things, I don't know if they're like, you know, they, they hold back on really wanting to say what they want to say. And then when they, when it, when it gets good, then they switch off to somebody else who, you know, said, you know, talks how Chris Watts, you know, was good as a, you know, we want the meeting great. You know, we don't, we didn't grow up with Chris Rock, Chris Rock, Watts. I'm pretty sure he had friends and, you know, we want to hear from his childhood friends, how he, how he was in high school, middle school. You know, I, you know, that helps us determine could we have foreshadowed this or foreseen this coming, in which I think we possibly can. I mean, everybody, you know, from when I was doing these videos on the Watts family and all, all, the, all the family members on the channel, people outside the channel, always felt that, you know, that Shanann was kind of the head of the household and uh, that, you know, Chris was okay with being in the back. Okay with letting Shanann, I, I mean, I guess that was his first major girlfriend, so like, you know, his first girlfriend and he married, you know, so he was okay with most most men are. I mean, he goes to work. I mean, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with being quiet. There's nothing wrong with allowing a woman to take charge, especially if y'all married. Uh, but a lot of people want to know what went wrong. And what went wrong was N.K., his mistress, him needing an outlet to 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 feel more as a man in, in some type of relationship and i i think that you know and i know we blame nk you know i still believe that she was there during the times or or after the you know possibly during or after the times at that house i mean that's not going to change um there the the surveillance footage shows you know, a woman coming out the house first. I mean, if he walks like a woman, looks like a woman, you know, then I'd be okay with saying that was him. But I don't believe, you know, that was a woman coming out the house first. But I feel like he was so easily manipulated. And I believe he, yeah, he did, you know, he did, he did the crimes. I feel like he, you know, it was, how can I put it? If he would have stopped it, he could have stopped it. He, you know, but his mind was so torn, and I'm making excuses, guys, guys, I'm not making excuses. But I really want to get back. I mean, even if we just got 10 or 15 people, I'm okay with that. Because for some reason, people hate you cover this case. I mean, this case, people hate it. Or they just want to be the only person to cover it. I mean, people, you know, certain certain people who who have covered this case, it's hated when somebody, you know, and that's the weirdest thing. Like, people who have basically um, made their whole life and channel about this case don't have anything else to talk about because that was their whole, they, they don't know how to go on to other cases like most people do because there's so many other cases out here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to revisit the case. You know, I, I look at, I look at the video I made and I looked at the comments and response, you know, you get your, you get your, you hate all that stuff, but you know, it's been nothing but positive. And, I, I love that because I love the support. I mean, I have people who've been with me and this was like my first big case that I covered. Uh, I wasn't really doing true crime. I was doing motor motorcycle videos, motor vlogs and stuff like that. And so after just looking at, because for some reason this case has kept, man, you guys can go hear the story. I kept pulling up YouTube and this case kept going on my, 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 my feed. Like every time I pulled it up, this you know, I would see 
Chris, I will see. And I'm going to make that my thumbnail. Probably got it as one of my thumbnails, but um, I'm going to make what I first seen as as my thumbnail. First, when I first seen the Chris or heard the Chris Watch case, for some reason, this kept telling me to click on it. I always kept passing it because I didn't know what it was. It's like, I mean, I watched motorcycle videos. I mean, I wasn't watching any true crime videos and stuff like that because I was always watching Snapped and Oxygen on TV. So, I mean, I would just make you uh, motorcycle videos and stuff like that um, on my channel. So I wasn't really into YouTube like that, but I decided to start a motor vlog channel. So I was just kind of confused, like, you know, what what's this case that keeps coming up? You know, and one day at work, I just finally clicked on it and I just watched the video and it was over from there. I was just drawn in, you know, because of the, of the, the heart, the heart, my heart broke for those little girls in that in Shenan. My heart broke, and it like capt like it captivated me into wanting to dig more into the case. And as 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 I dug more into the case, I just started seeing the, like the in inconsistencies of the of the, of the investigation, uh, the videos, the interrogation. You know this. I started seeing stuff, and then the mistress, NK. And guys, I mean, I'm not saying I'm like the most, I'm, I'm out here smarter than most of the investigators, but I see things that for some reason, a lot of people don't see. I like, I, you know, I don't know if it's my hiding senses, but I kind of watch and I just see things and they let one person get off, possibly more get off. I don't know if this is because they were satisfied and, you know, he confessed and all that, but I still don't feel like it's, it's justice. It's, it's been, you know, 100% justice for those babies and Shanae. So I am going to go back into it. I mean, I would love for you guys to join me. You know, I'm a, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to start doing lives. I mean, but I might. Go, you know, do a couple lives, but uh, you know, I, I definitely want to just deep dive back into it, and I've been getting a lot of support, a lot of support. And guys, watch, watch, watch my, watch my subscription, watch it, please. Now, when I put this video out, watch how my subscription changes because I don't. What, what the crazy thing is that. When I subscribe to a channel, like I don't go back and unsubscribe and subscribe. Or I don't. I mean, who does that? I mean, it's like I mean, who has time to do that? But watch me. Watch my subscription. You're gonna see about four or five people leave. Probably six. Six people leave. Now, are they are they plants? I think they are. I just don't know if they're plants from YouTube or plants from other channels. But mark my words, watch my subscription. It's at 12, it's at 7,029 right now. Watch it fall after I make this video on Chris Watts. Yeah, watch it. I mean, I have, I know I got one stalker. I mean, she unsubscribes. I mean, I don't, you know, she, I don't talk to her anymore. So she just continues to unsubscribe and subscribe. And, you know, I don't count her because she just does that. And I, she's, I mean, that's weird, but, you know. That's what happens when you, you know, deal with a woman. <laughs> I don't know. And I think it's cool and funny that she continues to do that. But just watch my description, guys. But I will be covering the case. And, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. And so, uh, guys, look forward because I'm going back in, guys. So I love you guys. If you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that notification bell for me. Make sure you put that thumbs up. Uh, get these get this video on uh, rotation with the analytics and stuff like that. If you guys are new, you want to subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get back into it, guys. So, love you guys. I uh, will do a notification for the next video. So that's what I'm gonna start doing is doing notifications so you guys know when I am gonna put out a video or I'm going when I go live. So all right, guys. I will see you when I do the next video, guys. Love you guys all. Be safe.